Well, greetings, kiddos. Uh, Mr. Cubbage here. Uh, just wanted to let you know that now we're doing polynomials. We're adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing them. And so another area that some people did not do too well on. So if you didn't do too well on this, you're not alone. We did kind of rush it to try to get spring break in, so it's all right. We didn't do too, too hot on this. So anyways, uh, because the SOL likes pictures, okay, they love pictures and graphs, we're going to start off our polynomials by looking at pictures. Remember, polynomials are things that have more than one term. So a polynomial would be something like 2x plus 1, because you have 2x and you have 1, or 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now you have three terms, which is called a trinomial, but they're still polynomials, okay? Um, if you just have like 2x, that's called a monomial. Mono means one. Like a monotheistic is you believe in one god. Polytheistic believe you believe in many gods. That's a world history one term you're going to need to know next year. You're welcome. But anyway, so let's go ahead and look at this. This just wants you to write the polynomials algebraically if you're looking at algebra tiles, okay? So these big boxes represent an x squared. So this is an x squared and that's an x squared, okay? How many of them do we have? We have two of them. So we have 2x squared, okay? These rectangular boxes, it doesn't matter how they're situated, represent x. So there's x, that's x, that's x. These are sideways, but the same box. So how many are there? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So plus 5x. And then those tiny little boxes represent just 1. Okay, and we have 1, 2, 3. Okay, we just transferred an up. Uh, algebra tiles to an algebraic expression. Now sometimes they have the factored form, so you might have to factor it or something like that. Um, that'll be a later video, uh, but the purpose of this video is just uh, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing polynomials. Okay, let's look at the second one. So these squares represent x squared, so we have x squared there, 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 and there. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6x six squares. Then these thin rectangles represent x. So we have 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So plus 9x. And then these little boxes represent 1. So plus 3. Okay. Again, they just want you to be able to Visualize algebra tiles, that's what they call those, into polynomial expressions written algebraically. Um, I don't know why, but they do. So, oh, I'm going to get in trouble if the DOE watches this. Okay, so adding and subtracting polynomials, we are going to combine like terms, okay? So combine like terms. And what that means is, see how this has a square in it, and that has a square? Those, they have the same exponents. You can combine them. Um, this is just an x. That's just an x. You can combine them. Those numbers you can combine. What you can't do is you can't do 2x squared minus 3x, okay, because they're not like terms. Although they both have x's, they're not both being raised to the same power. So let's go ahead and combine this term and this term, and there is a plus sign, okay? 2 plus 5 is 7. x squared, okay? Negative 5 and negative 3. Negative 5 plus negative 3 is minus 8x. And plus 6 plus 4 is plus 10, okay? Again, you could do this with algebra tiles. You could do two little boxes of x squared and five boxes of x squared. How many boxes all together do you have? Seven of them. And then you could do the rectangular minus five, minus three all together you have. Negative eight and whatnot. But again, you combine them. You keep the exponents the same, but you add the um, coefficients, so the five and the two. Okay, here. Again, all of this is plus, okay? So we're going to combine our a's. They're like terms 2 plus 3 plus 1a. Remember, it has an imaginary 1. 
So 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 6a. Now let's combine our b's. 3b minus 4b minus 5b. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Minus 5 is negative 6. And then minus 2c minus c plus 4c. So negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3 plus 4 is 1c. Okay. Just combining those terms. Go ahead and look at number five. Okay, um, here I'm going to probably write it out a little bit better. Okay, um, we have four x squared plus seven x squared plus negative x squared. So I'm going to write it this way. Okay, we're just going to simplify that first, just to show you a different. 4 plus 7 is 11, minus, remember, it's a 1. If it's just a minus something, it's got a 1 in front of it. So 11 minus 1, that's 10x squared. Okay. Oh, I should have started with purple first. I'm breaking my pattern. Minus 3. That doesn't have an x, but that does. So minus 3x plus uh, 7x. Negative 3 plus 7 is a positive 4x. And then we have, is that a positive 9? Yeah, positive 9 plus negative 11 plus negative 2. So you have 9 plus negative 11 plus negative 2. So 9 plus negative 11 is negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. Okay. We're rocking it, kids. So now let's look at number 6. Oh, by the way, that should just say 4, not 14. Always in it. <laughs> All right. So uh, number 6, again, I'm going to start with that purple now. 3x squared minus 2x squared. Always pay attention to that sign. Okay. And 3 minus 2 gives me 1x squared. I don't have to write the 1. And then negative 2x minus negative 5x. And it's a negative. And when you subtract a negative minus a negative, remember it becomes positive. Negative 2 plus 5 is a positive 3x. And then you have 5 minus. 1. And 5 minus 1 is 4. Okay. Let's go ahead and flip to the back. Now we're multiplying polynomials, so we're going to use our FOIL method. Okay, remember the FOIL. Um, you multiply. Uh, actually, I'm going to color coordinate this. I like colors. Okay, with the uh, foil, you mo okay, I made a little boo boo, so I had to redo this. I figured that out how to do that. So foil stands for you multiply the first terms, then the outer terms, then the inner terms, and then the last terms. I'm going to color coordinate. So we're going to multiply the first terms together in each one. So 9 times 9 is 81. And x times x, remember there's a 1 there and a 1 there, so it's x squared. Okay. Then we're going to multiply the outer terms. Okay. So that's the ones all the way on the outside. So 9 and negative 1. So 9x times negative 1 is minus 9x. Then we're going to multiply the inner terms. So 1 times 9x is positive 9x. So those are the inner terms of this whole thing. Then the last terms, so of each one, 1 and negative 1, which is minus 1. And to 
simplify, you just combine like terms. No other terms have x squared, so it's 81x squared. Negative 9 plus 9, eh, that eliminates that, and then you just have minus 1. Okay? That's actually called a difference of squares, by the way. So when you factor, that's a difference of squares. Okay? So those are how you do that with the FOIA. With this particular case, you have a monomial multiplied by a trinomial. And you kind of do the same method, but you take you, the monomial and you multiply it by each term, okay? So I'm going to do 3x squared times 4x squared, okay? Plus 3x squared times a 2x of the distributive property, basically. And then plus the 3x uh, squared times the 1, okay? You're multiplying it by each term. Keep that plus sign in between, okay? 3 times 4 is 12 of your x. Remember, when you multiply exponents, you're adding them. So 2 plus 2 is 4. Plus 3 times 2 is 6 of your x. And we're multiplying 2 plus, there's a 1 there, so that's 3, plus 3x squared times 1 is 3x squared times itself, which is 3x squared. Okay. Okay. Down here, we're going to do the same principle. We're taking that negative 2x squared y to the 4, multiply it by the 6, y. I use different colors down here. And then you'll take that and multiply it by the negative xy, okay? Or you can just keep the minus sign and then um, Okay. Let's go ahead and factor that out. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12 x squared, there's no nothing over here, so we just keep the x squared. y to the 4th times y, you add the little 4 and 1 together, so you get y to the 5th. Okay. And then, negative 2 times negative 1 gives us a positive 2. x squared times that x to the 1, we keep the x, 2 plus 1 is cubed. And y, we have a 4 plus a 1. Multiplying 4 plus a 1 is y to the 5th. Okay. We can't simplify that, so we leave it alone. We can't add these y5s because they're being multiplied. That, treat that as a unit. Okay. Uh, this would have to be x cubed y to the 5th as well um, in order to, um, to combine them. Then we have m plus 3 times m squared plus m4 uh, plus 2. And again, you multiply the m times everything, so we have m times m squared, which is m cubed. There's a 1 there. m times 4m, which is 5m, and then you got to square it because it's 1 and 1, and then plus m times 2, which is 2m. Then you multiply that 3 by each item. Okay? Make it them little branches. 3 times m squared is plus 3m squared. Okay. 3 times 4m is plus 12m. And 3 times 2 is plus 6. Here we can combine like terms. We have 1m cubed and we have nothing. So the m cubed is by itself. Then we have 5m squared, 3m squared. Add those together, you get plus 8m squared. And then you can combine, oh, oh whatever, the 2m and the 12m and get 14m. And then you just have that plus 6. So I've run out of time, kids, to do the division. So that's going to be part 2, okay? And our lights have cut out on me too. Oh no. Ah.